Mark Smith's life was completely transformed by Gladiators, and the Hollywood actor is the most successful star of the show. Before he became Rhino on the popular series, which is being brought back by the BBC for a massive 11-part reboot with a brand new generation of superhuman stars, Mark started out as a bodybuilder and won most of the British weightlifting championships. First appearing on Gladiators in 1995, Mark won legions of fans with his display of robotic dancing and body-popping moves while walking out to his theme song, Montel Jordan's This Is How We Do It. But it wasn't all fun, as Rhino suffered a horrific injury after falling badly from the pyramid, with a tear and ligament in his right leg leaving him in plaster for 12 weeks. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a Mirror Newsletter here. Once he left Gladiators in 2000, Mark became a very successful actor and made it all the way to Hollywood, where he has some famous celeb pals. Mark, who was born in Acton, London, had a four-episode stint on EastEnders as Johnson in 2005. He appeared in many popular British dramas, including ITV's, Trial and Retribution, BBC's Synchronicity and the Beeb's Robin Hood series as the Arabian Knight, Kareem, before heading stateside. One of his first major film roles was in Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins, where he played a shadow warrior in Tibet alongside Christian Bale. Mark's other gigs include parts in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Creed, Argo, Pirates of the Caribbean, on Stranger Tides and American TV shows such as Agents of S. H.I.L.D. and NCIS, Los Angeles. But Hess not forgotten his gladiator's roots, as Mark was the voice of talking rhino officer McHorn in the Disney film Zootropolis in 2016. Away from acting, Rhino put his fighting skills to the test when he achieved his long-term ambition of entering the boxing ring. He had several amateur boxing fights at Hammersmith Palais, Manchester Arena, and Earl's Court, and remains undefeated, knocking out all of his opponents. Mark was then invited to take part in a charity fight against nine pounds. Seven million lotto winner Michael Carroll at boxing's infamous venue, York Hall in 2005. The press conference ended in a brawl after Carol lunged for Mark, and Rhino ended up winning the fight and the rematch. Mark, who has three kids and is married to wife Simone, now works as an actor and producer in LA. Speaking to The Guardian in 2019, the former Boyd builder revealed he once got recognized on safari in Zimbabwe. We were in the Land Rover and someone leaned over and said, Hey, Rhino, do you think we might see a Rhino? He added, I think him the most successful gladiator. I've been very lucky. Mark now mixes with Hollywood stars, but it was actually in a London nightclub in the 90s where he would first meet Luther actor Idris Elba. While Idris is one of the most in-demand actors in the world now, it was actually the Thor star who approached Rhino as a fan. In October last year, Mark explained, I first met Idris in Dingwalls in Camden. He came up to me and said, Hello, nice to meet you Rhino, man. I said, Nice to meet you too, prove. Idris never forgot Mark's words of encouragement and now they are firm friends, having appeared in three Hollywood movies together, including Yardi in 2018. Idris really took me under his wing when I moved out there. He was a great help, said Mark. He cast me in Yardi which was filmed in Kingston. We really connected on that film.
we hung out at his house, had drinks and would shoot the breeze. We talked about kids, life, goals, obstacles, training, health. He came from quite a hard background in Hackney and I came from West London. We have similar mutual friends, we love the same sort of music. He is an amazing guy, and a great role model. Since moving to Hollywood with his PR worker wife and two children, he has become friends with other A-listers. He plays tennis and rides motorbikes with Scottish star Gerard Butler and bonded with fellow dad Johnny Depp at the school gates. Mark said, Johnny's kids went to the same school as my son. We would have chats there about life and London, he loves UK culture. We were on the set of Pirates and Johnny goes, Hey Rhino, how are you man? Good to see you. Everyone around Johnny was like who is this guy? Mark was once mistaken for an American footballer by Leonardo DiCaprio in a West Hollywood club and also had his eyes complimented by Oprah Winfrey. But his most remarkable encounter was with the Queen in 1997 when he was at the peak of his gladiator fame. He explained, I curtsied and she said, Hello, how long have you been working on your muscles? I said since the age of 16. She asked if I enjoyed it and I said very much so. She said, You look very well. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at your mirror at Trinidad Mirror. Tom.